Hi everyone, it's your boy Sammy Caps, and today we have another big W for Blizzard. And no, this time it has nothing to do with Diablo 4. Well, not 100% anyway. Today we have learned that Microsoft and NetEase have agreed to distribute Blizzard games in China. This is a huge W for Blizzard. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, that's great, but what happened? After all, there was a 15-year relationship between NetEase, the China game developer, and at the time, ABK. What happened? In 2003, this relationship crumbled where both NetEase and ABK were accusing each other of a lot of, let's just say, not nice things. And actually, there's a rumor that one of the NetEase executives said the rationale and the reasoning behind the breaking up of the relationship had to do, and I quote, with a jerk at ABK. Now, I have did a lot of digging here. <laughs> And I found out a lot of interesting information. So although this is a huge W for Blizzard and all the games, I want to take you back and kind of expose what was happening in the past, the relationship, what caused the breakup, well, at least the speculation, because we'll never know for sure, and what gets us to the announcement today where now all the Microsoft games are going to be available and distributed through NetEase in the China market. And there's also literature that NetEase is looking at putting some of their games on the Microsoft platform. All this is going to be discussed in this video. It's going to be a quick one, but it's a very interesting story the relationship, the breakup, and now they're back together again. I have to say, it was some interesting reading. All right, so this is the article that broke out the story today. It was on routers. And of course, all this can be also found vis-a-vis -vis tweets on X and other social media platforms. But this is where I found it. And so Microsoft... NetEase to relaunch Warcraft and other games in China. Hong Kong, April 10th, China's NetEase and U.S. game peer Microsoft said on Wednesday they will bring pop popular titles, including World of Warcraft, back to China after a fallout involving the developer that ended almost a 15-year partnership. The pair said they are working to bring online games from Blizzard Entertainment a subsidiary of Activision Blizzard, which Microsoft bought last year. This is key because I don't think this would have happened if Microsoft did not purchase ABK. Back to the world's second largest economy, starting this summer, NetEase was the publisher of Blizzard games in China from 20, 2008 to 2023. And it goes on, Joanna Ferries says they're thrilled. NetEase and Microsoft also said they have ex they have agreed to explore bringing NetEase titles to Microsoft, Xbox, and other gaming platforms. Clearly, if you're NetEase, this was part of the negotiations. Fine. You want us to distribute games in China? Can we put our games on the Microsoft Xbox? Uh, box platform, sorry. Okay, so it goes on to say that NetEase stock rose, yada, yada. Who's NetEase? Net so this is their gaming portfolio. I'm not going to go through the background when it comes to NetEase, the China developer, but they, they do have a gaming, they do have a game platform, but I want to discuss this because it reveals, and again, Please remember, this is all speculation, um, but this is one of the articles that I found where Activision Blizzard 
And this is from March 29th, 2023. Activision Blizzard and NetEase breakup was caused by a long brewing dispute and alleged threats. So one of the biggest MMO and gaming stories capping off the end of 22 and spilling over into the start of 23 was the dissolution of Activision Blizzard NetEase partnership that governed the publishing of Blizzard games in China. The company's inability to reach a new agreement at the end of their multi-year contract resulted in the closure of multiple games in China, including WoW, and created waves of drama and sniping. Now, both companies insist the failed partnership was no financial significance. Blizzard suggested NetEase proposals ran contrary to its operating principles. Basically, NetEase was trying to get control of Blizzard's IP and not have ABK involved when they were distributing the games in China. And they did that by saying, look, there's all these regulations in China. You need to give us more information so we could adhere to these regulations. Oh, by the way, give us control so you don't have to waste your time with this. And this is kind of the semantics that was happening in the background. But that is what ABK side of the story was. They were just asking for stuff that was contrary to our operating principles. A net easy exec ultimately pinned the blame on an unnamed Blizzard jerk. But the full details of how the partnership source were pu weren't public and the games went dark for millions of Chinese players and the Chinese staffers who worked on them. Okay, so it basically, when you come down and you read, basically, it sounds, and, and, and this is where it gets interesting, okay? And it kind of makes sense. Again, this is allegedly, okay? It sounds as if NetEasy had been clashing with ABK CEO Bobby Kotick. Surprise, surprise, for several years before this specific dispute, chiefly because of NetEasy's investments in what ABK considered rival spinoff companies. So basically, this is the lowdown. The breakup happens because apparently NetEase, the Chinese internet technology company, accuses Bobby Coptic of being a jerk and kind of basically asking for stuff and demands that were unacceptable. And of course, ABK countered with their arguments and their net ease having unrealistic demands. And the relationship gets severed in 2023. This is where we see, if you guys remember, this big uproar. Now, of course, the Chinese gamers are upset because now WoW is gone, Overwatch is gone, Diablo's gone. Of course, the gamers, they're the ones that felt the brunt of this, this illusion and this breakup of this relationship. However, it happens, okay? Again, these are all allegedly and allegations. We will never know exactly what happened happen because both sides are pointing to each side as the one that was the problem. However, the relationships gets dissolved in 2023. Now, during this time, ABK is potentially looking at a deal with Microsoft, which we now know ends up happening. And again, allegedly, once NetEase ends up finding out about this potential Microsoft purchase of ABK. Allegedly, they come in and threaten ABK with, we're going to put a monkey, a wrench into this process, sorry, and, you know, kind of stop it and create problems for you. Put the games back in the Chinese market kind of discussion, right? Allegedly. Uh, now, nothing happens of that because I would imagine they end up 
finding out that Microsoft actually is going to go through with the deal and purchase them. And they end up finding out that part of the deal, again, speculation, but it ends up coming true is part of the deal is that Bobby Coptic at the end of 2023 is going to be removed from ABK, which actually becomes true. Remember, he does leave ABK at the end of 2023 with this golden parachute to go on to whatever he's doing now. And therefore, enter in Phil Spencer, the CEO of Microsoft, on his white horse, the alleged jerk in the past negotiations, Bobby Coptic, no longer there. And hence, we get this deal months into Microsoft purchasing ABK. And now that Bobby's out of the picture, and if you believe the allegations and the story, then the jerk is removed from the occasion, from the, uh, from the negotiations. And therefore they can continue to, uh, come up with a deal and they do. Hence, we get this, uh, article today confirming that there is a deal and that all ABK games are going to be in the Chinese market and NetEase, the Chinese internet technology company is going to be the distributor for a lack of a better term. So everybody's happy. This is a huge win for everybody involved, if you ask me. It's a huge win for the Chinese gamers that were upset that they now could not play whatever title you want to insert in the ABK portfolio. Um, Microsoft, look, Phil Spencer, his goals, he has many goals, but the top goals are obviously make money for the company and to put as much of his gaming portfolio in as many screens as possible. And you cannot deny that the Chinese market is a massive market. That's a lot of set of eyes. That's a lot of screens that games are gonna have exposure to. So this is a huge win for Microsoft ABK. And it's also a big win for NetEase. They've just expanded their gaming portfolio in the Chinese market vis-a-vis -vis through this relationships. And oh, by the way, they also are talking with Microsoft putting their titles on the Microsoft platform. So again, full circle, WWW for everybody involved. So this is a good news story. And who would have thunk it? ABK with potential back-to-back -back Ws with season four potentially being a good one for their beloved franchise, the Diablo franchise. And now on the business side, inking this deal and getting their games exposed to the massive Chinese market. WWW, who would have thunk it? We keep going at this rate. The expansion is going to be massive. But who? Back up the truck. One step at a time. Anyway, I wanted to give you an update on what's going on on the business side. And another W for ABK. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think. Do you guys have an opinion on this or really it doesn't impact you at the end of the day? You may be in the European market. You may be in the North American market. So it really doesn't impact you. But it is interesting from a business perspective how personalities can elevate a deal and also kill a deal. And if the rumors are true about what NetEase said about Bobby Coptic, then wow. Uh, just it, and I believe it, to be honest with you, this is business. Personalities get in the way and personalities help. So it's not far-fetched. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. And as always, if you can like, comment, and subscribe, it will help grow my channel. And I would love that. So if you could help me, I would really appreciate it. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. And as always, we'll hope to see you on the next one. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.